Hello, welcome to two weeks postpartum and ED's second week of life. I was doing this video before um, it was doing really, really well and then Alice just decided to stop my lap and proudly announce our exact address, including the house number and everything, which was just great. Um, so I was like, yeah, we'll, we won't be using that video. Yeah, don't share our address again. I mean, to be fair, I don't think any... None of the ones I talk to are creepy, but you never know who's watching, to be fair, so I'm not going to be giving my address out. You're annoying. She's got really mad hair because we were baking cakes, and she got batter in her hair, and I just wiped it out with a cloth because she got it on the hairline in front. And now she's got, like, uber, curly, crazy, messy hair. Right, can you stop being noisy, please? Are you sit up and say hello? Anyway, Midway came round this morning, and there's little Chubsy. He's not really a chubsy at all. It's seven pounds thirteen, so we're almost two weeks old back to our birth weight. I'm very proud. Um, we've both been signed off as mentor care now. Yes, we have. She's still an amazing, amazing feeder, an amazing sleeper. Um, like I've she started to go to sleep at nine o'clock at night rather than eleven, and she wakes up for a feed at three, and then she can pretty much go until seven. Um, this morning was slightly different. She woke up at five. She woke up at three, had a big feed. She woke up at five because she pooped. She obviously had some wind. I heard her, heard her going, yeah, and then boom, 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 like, oh, okay. So uh, we changed her bum and I gave her a top up feed then, and she slept through till about eight o'clock. Um, and I kind of woke her up because of, I literally got up at seven. I had, it was really cool. I've got a lot, I love this baby. I got up, had my shower. Clean my teeth, did my hair, put some makeup on, which to be fair, all I've got left is the eyes, the rest of it's come off pretty much. I don't buy cheap crap. Ah, well we do we have the cakes in a minute, darling. Um Oh good, give me a minute, let me do the video. Uh so yeah, I got my makeup on, I got the kids up, I got their clothes dressed out, and then she woke up and wanted to feed, so I put her on whilst feeds uh, whilst cleaning the kids' teeth. So I got them to start, and I literally was holding baby to the boob and one-handedly brushing their teeth, as you do. Came down the stairs, I sort of took her off before we got downstairs, I was like, you're just going to have to deal for a minute, Edith. Um, got the kids' cereals ready, and then we all sat at the table, I had some cereals, they had their cereals, and she, I had my boppy, or my widgie, or whatever you want to call it, on my lap, and she was feeding, so I had both my hands free, so she was eating with us, um, but she was just eating me while we were eating, weird as it sounds. Um, and then... I got her dressed and everything, gave her another like a uh, cuddle feed and um, and we were ready for school and wasn't even time to go and leave for school and Darren had them, uh, George there like literally just as the bell was ringing every day, like very close to being late and we're there like 15 minutes early so the kids are running around the playground before George goes into school and it's his last day today. So next week's chances are it'll have both midgets in the background making noise. Um, just school holiday, yay! Um, so we, we're doing really well. I mean, and from now on, to be fair, I'm extremely blessed because from now on, it doesn't matter if the morning goes a bit peat tong because you know, we don't really have any major plans for the mornings. Um, no more midwives come around, nothing like that. So, you know, what really, really blessed really fortunate being very lucky she's just an exceptionally good baby i'm waiting for colic to kick in or something because she just can't be this good all the time it's just not normal alice was an exceptionally good baby i cannot be blessed twice i mean that just seems like no no so yeah i'm feeling very 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 lucky and very happy and i'll stick a load of pictures in the end because i'm obsessed and now i've got a phone that i can actually take pictures on and transfer it across to the laptop with ease because I never had that option with the other two so I feel a bit bad I've got so many more pictures of this little one oh, and she smells lovely I just love everything about her look wow that is very cool then climb up oh that is amazing um me wise, absolutely fine. What I'll do is I'll flash her, I'll try and put her in the Moses basket and I'll do an abdomen shot 
Um, not bare flesh, because I never did that really with the bum to the very, very end. I'm not planning on doing that again now. Good. <laughs> I'm not that nasty. See if I can do this. She's probably not going to look great because she's asleep. She's so sleepy with a bent ear. Right, I've popped her down, so I will do a bit of a flash, but under the boobs, which of course wearing a nursing bra, not very supportive. So there is a bit of a, a roundness to me still. This bit is actually belt across here, so I'll flash my belt. But it's not much, most of that's me as you can see. I have got a t-shirt on underneath because when I feed her I will pull this bit down and this bit up and that way I'm not flashing flesh but as you can see the white actually looks it makes me look bigger than I think I look normally but again some of that is belt but most of that roundness is me but to be fair I'm not much smaller than that anyway so that's that um, the only other thing I've got with me is the SPD hasn't fully gone I'm still getting pelvic pain and I seem to have um, a nerve pain in my back right where it was throughout pregnancy slightly on the left hand side of my spine not really sciatica it doesn't go down my leg or anything but I still I still have that which is a bit uncomfortable so my pelvic and back issues are still apparent, uh, unfortunately, but not really bad or anything like that, so I really can't complain. Um, but that that's it, really. When it comes to postpartum bleeding, that's pretty much done. Uh, as I said, the breastfeeding's do it, going really, really well. Edith is absolutely amazing. The kids are brilliant. George was having a few issues, as I said last time. He was quite emotional and everything, but he's over that now. He's just... I just, yeah, I, I, I can't quite get my head around how fantastic it's all going. And I think someone's actually doing a nappy filler right now. So I'll shorten this. And as said, I'll try and stick pictures on at the end. Um, in a minute, young lady. Carry on, you ain't get one. Um, so, yeah, I just, I keep thinking something's going to go wrong because it's just too good. It's too brilliant that, you know, the kids are being really, really good. Edith is really, really good. Everything's going really well. And I keep thinking, ah, false. Something's going to blow up. Something's going to happen. I can't, I don't trust this. This is just too good. Um, but I'm loving it. Yes, I know. You want to eat the cakes. You want to eat the cakes. Are you stop going out about it? <coughs> Look at this one. I mean, come on. I've already got, like, the most amazing girl in the whole wide world. And now I have two amazing girls. Seriously. You must hate me. Dude, I'd hate me if I wasn't me. Actually, I hate me anyway. I'm really, really annoying. Not as annoying as her mind. Um, and on that note, I'm going to go and, like, check the cakes will cool down. To be fair, she did bake them. I don't actually blame her. Part of me kind of wants to go and get a cake too. Clearly, who ate all the pies? <laughs> me. Um, so, yes, stay tuned for some ED pics, and I will speak to you all next week. Bye.